Good morning, I am John Alfie Cobillo and I am here to present to you how to make a pinhole camera using a matchbox. So for the materials needed, we need a matchbox, electrical tape, old and new camera films, an aluminum plate, and a, card a piece of cardboard. First, we need to mesh to find out where the center of the matchbox is and then cut a hole in it measuring 5 by 5 millimeters in size. So, after cutting a hole in the matchbox, we then take a this, the tray of the matchbox find out the center and then cut another hole a square hole measuring about around 24 millimeters by 24 millimeters After cutting a hole in the tray, we then take what's left of the tray, put a aluminum, small aluminum plate measuring around 13 by 13 millimeters and then bore a hole at the center of the aluminum plate using a pin. After boring a hole in the aluminum plate, we then attach it at the other side of the matchbox at the center and then secure it with electrical tape. After securing the aluminum plate at the center of the matchbox, on top of the hole created we are now going to attach the old camera film and the newer camera film onto the sides of the matchbox also I forgot to mention this earlier that we must color the back the insides of the matchbox so as to reduce the amount of light that passes through the amount of light reflecting on the surface so we need we only need to open this to do this attack simply put put the newer film Secure it with the, the tray of the matchbox and then wind it 
so that the tongue will will pass through the other end of the matchbox. This is what you get after attaching the newer film and the older film together. So to so to operate this, simply wind the newer film counterclockwise in order for the older film to be dragged by the old by by the other film and and this will result in another shot prepared for the camera simply just securing both of these with tape so as to remove to, so as to reduce uh, movement and reduce the amount of light the, the amount of residual light that passes inside the matchbox so after securing both films with tape we then need to create a shutter for the camera the shutter acts as a as a blocking mechanism so so that controls the amount of light that passes through the pinhole to create a shutter we only need to get the cardboard piece measure it so that it fits in the in the face of the camera and then that that acts as a pocket for the shutter then get the remaining cardboard piece you don't need to shape it then that itself will act as the camera shutter so after all that this is now our pinhole camera using a matchbox to operate this simply wind the older camera film counterclockwise so that the film inside the newer ca newer camera film will be dragged out towards the center of the camera after that simply point it towards your desired object to be photographed and this one depends on the amount of light for daylight shots for daylight shots you need around one or two seconds of exposure of light exposure and for night shots you'll need around 20 minutes worth of exposure and to take a picture simply simply pull the shutter then close it back then to take another picture wind the camera film counterclockwise again and make sure that the camera the film inside the new camera roll is now aligned with the center of the camera that's it for this video hopefully you are now informed